What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tapping in. I do appreciate you. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone is enjoying this Sunday, okay? Um, I'm going to be tapping into the messages to see what the downloads are. There are, there's a lot going on. The energy is a lot, okay? Uh, first, we're going to start off with... <sighs> Every message will not be your message, okay? So you have to take the messages only as they resonate to you and your situation, okay? The first card out is the moon, okay? So here we got somebody lying, okay? You see that woman in the water? Right. This king of wands, okay? This is the man that's supposed to leave this woman, like, unalive. <laughs> okay, the water could be representing the fact that this person is a water sign. Okay. Keep in mind that there is no gender in tarot. You have to take it how it resonates, okay? Um, there's a lot of cloakers and shapeshifters, so that's why there's no gender in tarot. Um... I feel like someone is sending this person in. Yeah. Somebody feels like by moving whoever this person is out of the way, they have a much better advantage. Okay. So, here we go again with another lie being told. Okay. To get this person to move forward towards this person. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that Leo, that lion... That's Leo energy, okay? What is the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, I think? Is that it? I think so. But Four of Swords, however this turned out, it didn't work out. Things did not go as planned, okay? Um, Four of Swords, whoever they paid this money to, for this money, this person was with someone. Yeah, this person didn't. It wasn't a successful, a successful outcome here. Like I said, they paid this person money to come in, right, and leave whoever this is in that energy unalive. But <laughs> this person's person is no longer in the picture. Okay? And once again, confirmation. This person's person is no longer in the picture. We have Ten of Swords. Okay? There is a King of Pentacles that's showing up as a wolf in sheep's clothing. Someone cannot be trusted here. Okay? And this was probably the person the moon, the illusion, this wolf in sheep's clothing was probably the person that told the lie to this person, okay, to get this person to go towards this person they want on a lie, okay, somebody is scared as shit, someone is hiding in the house, okay, somebody, somebody is afraid to leave the damn house here, okay, somebody is, they don't want to go outside, Okay, it's a cold world. That's what I'm hearing, cold world, okay? Yeah, somebody had a family. But I'm telling you, however this turned out, it did not turn out in these people's favor here. Okay, right, somebody was protected. This Queen of Swords, <clears throat> this Queen of Swords was a part of whatever this is. Knight of Pentacles. This Knight of Pentacles is taking what they have and they're walking away. So, whoever they were sending in to commit this crime, this murder, this unaliving here, it's like that person didn't make it. I don't know if they were headed to this person, okay, and something happened while they were on the way, but they were definitely sent by someone, okay? Somebody was doing this for the money, but mm -mm. It didn't work out. This person did not make it. Okay. Somebody could be <laughs> being threatened. Okay. There's a fight breaking out. Yeah. 
there is a fight breaking out, but why is this fight breaking out? Well, for one, this King of Pentacles was, uh, <laughs> you know, they were sending this person in on a lie anyway. Okay, yeah, they were sending this person in on a lie. And this person was going to unalive someone for absolutely no reason. Okay, the fight is breaking out. We got the Magician and then we got the Two of Pentacles. So, somebody went broke doing magic. Somebody went broke. Somebody spent a lot of money doing magic. And that shit did not work. So since it didn't work in the physical and the uh, spiritual, you know, it's time to do this in the physical. Yes, yes. Two, two of cups. Okay, there's lovers here of the same sex. Yep. They do work together. This person could have put work on their person, okay? <laughs> yeah, these two cards together, that rainbow, okay? Someone's bisexual. Somebody could have put work on their person. They feel like a fool. They feel like a fool because they did all of that and I don't feel like this person is still in the energy that they want this person in. To like be with them, to want them, no. This person is missing their person, okay? Whoever this feminine is sleeping alone, all she can think about is she's missing her person and this is not the way things were supposed to turn out. Mm -hmm. Somebody's doing a lot of praying. Somebody is doing a lot of praying. This person could... I was going to say be in jail, but no, that's not what it looks like. Okay, why is this emperor showing up here? This emperor could, oh wow, this emperor could have lost a child. Like this person could have lost a child here. Yeah. <laughs> um. Whatever this group, whatever this group did, it's like the things that are happening, the backlash that's happening, Ace of Cups, that's the move of hearts. It's like, it's really, it's hitting close to home where it's affecting them on an emotional level. Like one of the deepest emotional levels you can imagine, like, yeah, the most painful things in the world are like meeting these people and they don't understand as to why though. It's like, because you keep trying to unalive an innocent person. It's like, how many times do we have to go through that? They, this couple keeps showing up in this reading, this queen of swords. I told you the reading I gave last night. I'm like, this queen of swords, it's like thinking of everything possible to stop this person from having success and blessings, even going to the point of lying on this person to have their life taken from them. Like, I mean, and now it's sad. You know, this father lost a son or whatever. That's sad, but it's due to the work. It's due to the work. And they were coming together in groups, the three of swords. These people are heartbroken, but listen, Nobody is taking the signs and synchronicities. You know what I mean? Nobody is willing to accept the fact of why this shit is happening. You keep trying to hurt an innocent person because you're trying to get to a bag. And it's costing you things and people that you love. Okay? It's like, how, how loud do the heavens have to shout for you to stop? You know, and trying to ruin someone else, you are only ruining yourself. It's like all or nothing. That's what they're doing. Temperance. Like, see what I mean? It's like people are really getting hurt trying to unalive this innocent person who's protected. 
The devil. Yeah, the devil is definitely using these people. They are on the devil's strings. They're the devil's puppet here. Okay, they these contracts that they are under, it's like they went the wrong way. They went the wrong way. I mean, look at the energy that they're left in. This is not happy energy. That's not peaceful energy. She's walking away by herself. She's trying to make peace. Like... Man, listen. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, like... How much is enough? You know, that's what I'm looking at. It's like, how much how much are you willing to allow yourself to lose, to realize? Thank you. Thank you, ancestors. Before you need, realize that balance. That's, that's the quick fix. Balance. You know what I mean? Surrendering to the right, to doing the right thing. It's like, let's be real. Does this person deserve to die due to the fact that we just stuck on the fact that we don't want this person to be blessed? And we, that's exactly what y'all are saying. You're telling God you're not going to give this person nothing. You're threatening God is what y'all are doing. Because God is keeping this person protected. And y'all keep, no matter what happened and the shit don't work, y'all do something else. You do something else. I mean, y'all got down to the point where you're trying to send in another hitman. <laughs> like, you're trying to send somebody in, lied on this person, to have this person on a lie. I mean, damn. You know what I mean? It's like, when is everybody going to start coming back to their senses here? Right, if everybody would stop partying, partying, drinking, and getting high, you know, maybe they could see how wild this shit is, right? These people are trying to cause a death for a rebirth, for a come up. They trying to take a whole ass life for a come up. It's like, come on. None of these people can be believers of God, of Jesus Christ. None of these people could believe that there is a higher power, that there's the most high. They don't believe. They can't. You can't believe. <laughs> you can't. Right? Look, this money is costing people their lives here. It's costing you your life. You see, it's money in the ground. This money is putting people in the ground. And they still won't stop. They will not stop. I don't know exactly what type of blessing this person is going to receive. But this shit, it's got to be massive. You know, it's got to be the fucking blessing of a lifetime. The way these people are carrying on. It's like, yo... You see this shit on TV and movies, but in real life, in real life, y'all really going this hard. I'm so sick of seeing this shit. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm sick of picking this up on the reading. Okay, and this person that they sending in uh, to do this unaliving, this person has no clue of how long they've been trying to unalive this person and it's been unsuccessful. They ain't telling this person how many people done already got fucked up, okay? Coming for this protected person. It's just God will, will not allow these people to put their hands on this person and they they in hermit. They being left by themselves, okay? They losing friends, finances, business, homes, cars, you know, money, you name it. And it's like, they think it's just like life happening, something bad in life happening. It's like, no, y'all keep threatening God. Y'all keep threatening God. Y'all keep thinking that y'all have the power. Okay. The power of three, the hitman. Y'all keep testing God's hand and he's telling y'all to back off. Okay, this is what's happening, right? Justice. Now we got the justice card. There's a justice that nobody's seen coming. Because y'all were trying to ruin this empress, the world. Y'all were trying to ruin somebody's life. <laughs> Yo, 
I'm I'm getting out of this reading because I'm sick of this. I'm so sick of seeing how far these people are willing to go to ruin somebody. I, I hate it. You know, I don't know a nice way to put it, but just to see a whole group of people just work on tearing somebody down to absolutely nothing because God forbid this person end up with a blessing. God forbid they get a come up, you know, God forbid they're successful. Oh shit. It's like, yo, look, that's all they care about. It's like nothing else in life matters besides this money. They had mental conflict from all the work. They had mental conflict. But the mental conflict is a part of their judgment because of all that mental magic they were trying to send you. Right. They didn't want you to see it coming. They were trying to catch you off guard with shit. Like, constantly. You know, it's like constantly. These, these three main people, look, always planning and plotting. See how they stitching shit together? They always thinking of a way to come up with something. Always. Just let this person live. Like, just let this person live. Let them receive their blessing. Oh my God, it's okay. Eight of Swords. They like they are, they binded themselves to worrying about this person's blessings. It's oh, they killing themselves. Look, and still they gonna have to move on without somebody else's shit. Like. And it makes perfect sense, y'all. Come on. Like, they thought you were weak. Look. They thought you were weak. But look, God is showing them that you got you had hidden strength the whole time. Okay, you had hidden strength the whole time. Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to come in and make a love offer. Yeah, somebody is just stuck. Somebody is just stuck like Chuck and they all fucked up and they just... Right. Tower moment. Somebody's having tower moment after tower moment after tower moment. Trying to get somebody to come in and still unalive you. It's like, come on now. You causing yourself those own tower moments. Like, how you praying and you sending in a hitman? How you praying and you still want to take this person's life? How you praying? How you praying? You praying to the same God y'all threatening that, you know, y'all going to not let this person get no blessings here? You can't run away from the truth. You can't run from God. It don't matter what you on. If you on the train, a plane, a, a bike, a car, no matter. You cannot run from God. He will not let you. God will corner your ass. I'm telling you, he will corner you. Okay. Listen, we will all answer judgment. Look, this is, listen, this don't make no damn sense. All they want to do is darken the sun in your sky. It, they don't, this, the sun, the sun, happiness, joy, peace, serenity, all that good shit. This is every, this is all that they doing this shit for. God forbid you have peace and happiness. God forbid. And they wonder why they having all these fucking tower moments. You know, excuse me for cursing, but I'm sick of this energy. I'm so sick of these energy and these feminists. Like, why is this man even in the mix? Why is this masculine in the mix? And these two women, they want each other anyway. That they, they on the beach somewhere with their kids somewhere. They, what are you, come on now. They don't even want the man that's helping them do this shit. It's like, what are they going to off him to? It's like, seriously, what, what? Yo, <sighs> listen, karma, judgment, that's everything that's happening. And, you know, right, the lovers, you know, they're going to keep these, this couple and this person, they're going to keep having these tower moments until they understand that God means what he says. And when God says stop, he really means that. Right. Until you surrender to the work. You see that? Until you surrender the work. Listen, y'all going to keep meeting these tower moments. Y'all going to keep losing in your own lives. He's going to leave you in the energy that y'all so desperately want to see this person in for no damn reason. Unaligned. Remember, what you give is what you get. How you live is how you die. Y'all keep calling death, yo. Y'all keep calling it. 
and you calling it on the innocent. I'm telling y'all, that's why nothing is working out. Listen, this person, whoever passed away, if this person was in this shit, this person is so glad they, they got away from this. I'm telling you, this person is like laughing every time that higher font, laughing his ass off. It's like, <laughs> you know, shit, at least this person made peace. That Listen, I'm, I'm telling you, this person made peace before they passed away. I know that for a fact. Okay. How do I know that? Thank you, spirit. That's how I know that. That's how I know that that person made peace. Okay. There's a look. This feminine is at the nine of swords. Like I told you, somebody passed away in this. Somebody passed away in this whole, just not to see somebody have blessings. It's like somebody lost their life. A father could have lost his child here. Thinking about their child. It's like, come on. How much is enough? <sighs> I can hear that. Do not test God's hand. I can hear that. Do not test God's hand. This person is under protection. This person has God's protection. This person is anointed, ordained, some type of spiritual ranking that this person got with God. They got something going on because with every attack, you know, this is what God is doing. Does she look stressed, bothered, unhappy, worried? It's like God has really got this person here. So this, this, this is the problem. This King of Pentacles, this Queen of Swords, this wolf right here in sheep's clothing, that's who's causing all the problems. That's who wants to keep sending in these hit men. It's like, yo, what is wrong with you? What, what, why do you want to see somebody dead to stop their happiness? Like, why? This is the same reading that connects to the one last night. Shoot, these people are going through all this trouble. God is saying yes, and they are telling God no. And God is going to continue to shake their shit. Like, I promise you, until they stop. That's the message. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You know, whoever you are in the collective, you know, you might not be, you might not be being affected by any of this. You know, this, you probably don't even know unless you go to a reader or you can read yourself, but this energy is annoying. Like they just won't stop and you're never in the reading. You, <laughs> this person that they attack and the only time this person shows up is with every attack It'll show like God had this person protected. This person was covered. And the justice card keeps coming out. Like the hitman keeps getting hurt. It's like. Oh. <laughs> That's the message though. Till next time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Later.